Federal officials say, quote, systemic deficiencies led to a crash last year in North Las Vegas that killed nine people. In a meeting this morning, the NTSB said local officials simply failed to communicate with each other when it came to Gary Robinson's driving history. The 59-year-old, of course, we've told you, was high in cocaine and PCP when he drove into that intersection at Cheyenne and Commerce at 103 miles an hour. Though we had a long history of bad driving and speeding, documents they use now investigators obtained show Robinson's 10 year driving record had just one moving violation. All of those violations, though, ended in fines or parking tickets. This morning, I asked the NTSB chair what can be done to keep drivers like Robinson off our roads. So if you just constantly lead down violations to essentially a parking ticket. It's a slap on the wrist. So what is the penalty there? Not a lot. The NTSB saying today had Robinson's record been updated correctly with pending cases included on something like a, an electronic docket. The crash may not have happened and all of those nine people may be alive today. In addition to recommending our courts, police departments and DMV all communicate more efficiently. The board recommended car makers install speed warning systems in all of its new cars.